In the last session, we looked into how to search for a particular journal and how to find out whether that particular journal is of good quality or not. Now that you know how to search for research articles in using Google Scholar, let's open an article and see how an article looks like and how do you proceed when you see articles or when you got hold of articles? Where do you go from there on? What do you do next? How do you propose your own topic? What do you need before you propose your own topic for research? Let's say I open a particular paper. So the, the focus overall of these sessions is on quantitative research. So let's say I want to find out how servant leadership may be influences or is being influenced by other variables. Now we are going to talk about what is a variable because the concept of variable is central to quantitative or any research. This is what you are interested in studying. So let's open a paper. Let's say I'm trying to look for latest paper since 2021. And let's say this, this looks a good paper. Now, why did I go for this paper? Look at this. Green HRM, Environmental Awareness and Green Behaviors, the moderating role of servant leadership. Now, there is the word moderating and there is the word role. So moderating is a type of variable. Now, by the title of the article, I can figure out that this is quantitative research based on questionnaire. Further, this one looks the same as well. Let's open this one as well. Right click, open and let's say view pdf let me close this one and view pdf and let me close this one as well so what type of papers am i looking for what are the keywords that should be there in the title of the paper that can show me or that can like help me decide okay this is a quantitative research now there are multiple ways to do it you can open the paper and see how did they collect the data whether they used a survey based research or not. What analytical techniques did they use? Now, these things for start can help you identify, okay, this is a research paper that is purely quantitative using survey methods and all. But with time, obviously, you will figure these things very easily. Now, in this case, let's move down. And another important thing is this. Have a look here. Hypothesis. So once there are hypotheses, this is, this means that, okay, they are looking for the impact of one variable on another. And this is, look at the arrows pointing in one direction from here to here. This, this is your variable that is influencing this variable, but this is being influenced as well. So this is a variable and you are measuring the awareness with regards to environment. You are measuring the human resource management, green human resource management practices. So this is what you are measuring. So these are the type of papers I'm looking for. Further have a look here. So we are going to discuss in greater detail as to how this, the paper is structured, formatted, what is an abstract, how to write the introduction, what is this conceptual model and hypothesis and everything. What are these? These are variables. So how do you find about these variables? We are going to discuss in detail about this. But for now, let's basically understand the concept of a variable. Now, all this that we see here are variables. Now, this here is your variable. This is your variable. This is your variable. Variable, 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 and variable. Now, what do I mean by variable? Let's basically start by explaining the concept of variable. A variable is something that varies or changes. Now changes or varies from, it varies from person to person, time to time and place to place. How come? Let's say age. Now in a class that I teach, all the students that are sitting there have got different age and let's say for example culture another variable 
सो कल्चर चेंजेस फ्रॉम पर्सन टू पर्सन और अ पर्सन में डिफरेंट पीपल बिलोंग टू डिफरेंट कल्चर एंड द कल्चर चेंजेस फ्रॉम प्लेस टू प्लेस एंड ऑब्वियसली चेंजेस फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम इज वेल लेट्स इन द सेम क्लास वीव गॉट एन अदर वेरिएबल जेंडर सम ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स मे बी मेल वाइल अदर्स मे बी फीमेल सो वट इज दिस दिस इज यूर वेरिएबल जेंडर इज अ वेरिएबल विथ टू कैटेगरीज सो अ वेरिएबल इज वन दैट चेंजेस नाउ दिस इज वॉट आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन असेसिंग द वेरिएशन वेरिएशन इन वॉट वेरिएशन इन डिफरेंट कॉन्सेप्ट लेट्स से फॉर स्टार्टर्स फॉर नाउ वी आर फोकसिंग ऑन सर्वेंट लीडरशिप सो वी आर इंटरेस्टेड इन फाइंडिंग आउट वेरिएशन इन सर्वेंट लीडरशिप एंड हाउ दीज वेरिएशन अफेक्ट डिफरेंट वेरिएबल्स अदर वेरिएबल्स लेट से हाउ इट इन्फ्लुएंसेज ओ पी लेट से हाउ इट इन्फ्लुएंसेज टर्न ओवर लेट से हाउ इट इन्फ्लुएंसेज द कोलेबरेटिव कल्चर लेट से हाउ इट इन्फ्लुएंसेज इंटरनल सर्विस क्वालिटी सो सर्वेंट लीडरशिप इज योर वेरिएबल वाई इज इट अ वेरिएबल बिकॉज लेट से वीव गॉट एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड वीव गॉट वन लीडर हाउ कैन सर्वेंट लीडरशिप बी अ वेरिएबल नाउ वीव गॉट मल्टीपल फॉलोअर्स Now each follower may have a difference of opinion with regards to the leadership and whether or not the leader is displaying servant oriented behaviors one person may think that my leader is purely servant oriented while another follower may think that he is least servant oriented now there is variation in the perception with regards to servant leadership among the followers that's why servant leadership is a variable and how it influences the other variables or other concepts within the organization obviously will vary now there are different types of variables which we are going to look into in the next session it could be independent variable it could be dependent variable it could be mediating or intervening variables and it could be moderating variables Now we are going to talk about all these different types of variables in the next session. Thank you very much.